Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So, we are just about to head down, but I realized... Maybe we shouldn't do that. One, two things that we should probably do is that we should sell it's some of our someone gear. Uh, if I can... We can also buy new gear if we can find something that's uh, good. Yeah, this is the melee guy. If anything, I would... <laughs> yeah, I would like to buy uh, better guns. But sell... Junk. Sell all junk. So, by doing that, my carry capacity is 31. Well, remaining carry capacity. We can also check out... Uh, the weapon merchant. You looking to shoot targets, varmints, or... Right. I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any oh. quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. Actually, I, I, I want a better gun for her as well. It's m mainly about the DPS when it comes to companions. It doesn't matter. It's only about the DPS. This is a level 10 heavy weapon, which has 400 DPS. That's pretty okay. Uh, apparently giving me 26% discount. So, actually, I might be able to increase that if I increase my... Oh, not lockpicking. I can increase dialogue skills. I think in two ways. If I do that... Actually, I might be suffering a penalty to it. I go up to 57. You're looking I'm just, to shoot I'm just curious if it's gonna be a... Oh, yeah, we go up to 29% discount. So it makes uh, buying the the heavy machine gun a little, little cheaper. Not super important, uh, but when when it comes to selling, uh, she's not she's not having any uh, any of it. She's just uh, gonna pay us the same amount any other merchant does. Heavy machine gun seems like a decent choice. I don't think we can get a better choice, and we definitely need something. I would like to steal her gun. Right in front of her. And we can also check the vending machines. Uh, 520. Elite Troop Armor. Level 10. 24. Okay. Four hundred eighty DPS flamethrower, so it's even better. Although it might not be, because the light machine gun, for example, over here, has an effective range of twenty-five, and when it comes to flamethrower, the effective range is ten. So that's a bit of a problem. It sets them on fire, but. It's gonna be uh, a bit trickier when we play cons uh, well, carefully. I would like this gun. Steel Deadeye Assault Rifle. Is there a way to do it? What if I stole like that? Can that guy turn around? What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. Oh, my mistake. But do I manage to keep it? Yes. No. Well, yes. And this gun deals 
99 damage. Uses heavy ammo. So the DPS is worse than the assault rifle, but it's possibly more ammo, ammo efficient. And that could be a big deal. So that means I might be able to get away with using it. Also, I'm pretty sure that it has a better effective range. It's basically a sniper rifle, yeah. You know. You're looking to shoot. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm maybe gonna buy the heavy. The heavy machine gun. I, I suspect that the effective range of this is decent. Yeah, we can use this, and it's gonna cost me six forty. But I think we might be able to get away with that. So we buy that. And Ellie's gonna use the heavy machine gun as her first first and primary option. And Parvati is using a heavy machine gun as well. Enjoy girls. Oh, one thing that I can do is try to tinker with their heavy machine gun to make it better. I'm not never using the shrink ray. I would need to save the game and see how it even works. Uh, the damage alone uh, looks pretty bad, but maybe that's most likely that is not giving me the full uh, story. We can repair the, the shotgun for 15 parts. I think we're gonna do that because it's still getting used quite a bit, although I really don't like it. But that's how we use... Uh, that's, that's a cheap way to fight. With guns. The controls are on the back of the machinery staff area. Keep clear of the radiator. You don't need to go back to it, but I wouldn't mind grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Get all the bugs! Oh. Well, I guess we're good now. There's no way that Manti Pillar is gonna sneak up on us. But I suppose we're gonna deal with it. First thing. Jump climb doesn't really work. Oh, yeah. Show him wow, out, not even a scratch. What? Good Why am I on fire? Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of men. Okay, maybe we go in there a little bit later. Let's check this out. To HHB, Earth Headquarters, transmitted via probe, uh, archive that source. This is my honor to report that the Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the lag range point, having released our cargo of prefab, housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May their, they prosper and expand. Now that stages 1 and 2 of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. 
Some very rich, unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seemed to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamp on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I even set foot on the ship. If anyone wants to dispute or, or compromise our independence, they will answer to a uh, Tennyson. We are a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Okay. Let's go, guys. I should go back to the ship and rest. <laughs> Why am I on fire again? Okay. More mantises show up on the radar. Oh, it's not a mantis. This hammer slam is just so good. I'll get you right up. <laughs> My kind of nice one. Oh my god, poor buddy on his side. Time and time again, I just get reminded how fragile and vulnerable we are. If not for the stupid amounts of bonus health. Like, I, I chose health. Like, obviously, if I was playing on, on easier settings, I would just take the extra skill. That's super no-brainer. Uh, but the health often just, uh, just saves our ass. And without my determination stat, uh, pretty high, like the companions would just die all the time. Make him regret it. Oh, no. Can't get past that armor. Can we just chill up here? Oh, buddy, you need heals. Don't get into harm's way. Sure. Oh, buddy, where are you? Okay. So you guys are safe. Thank you. Come on. What if I use the shrink ray? Also, I'm pretty vulnerable as well. Especially, I'm pretty sure I'm running around the dialogue clothes. God damn it. I'm such an idiot. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Let's just do it here. Hey, come, guys. Yep, be right over. <sighs> this 
Cycle droplet bombs. Now the staff is getting restless. Four ground and half cooked uh, solutions are all we got to mend ground baker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing others. Our grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if it, our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Want some of uh, Chief uh, Kuning's old schematics? Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during uh, the crossing, because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that uh, doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood ce cells isolating an infection. I hate to put a sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Wow. I mean, this letter is fine, but would you really put it here? Would you really put it over there? I don't know. I say no. This seems kind of private. Climb up, maybe miss miss something. We can go back. I'm not sure how we are doing with supplies. One thing we should do. Yeah, I also need to level up. I've seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. I need to level up. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? Being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. <laughs> Ellie doesn't share her optimism and, uh... <laughs> just excitement. Fine. Okay, we can uh, do a level E up here. And if I leveled up, stealth further, hack wouldn't go up. So that's just reality that I deal with. I can also level up leadership. But if I level it up again, we would get to competent and also would allow me to st steal from others. And I probably would stop at this level. This gives me a pretty good bang for my buck. And we go to perks. And I can choose tier 2 perks now. Move. Yeah. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Science weapon damage. That's interesting because... Oh, that's a science weapon, right? Science weapon. But this is just uh, an energy weapon. So, not as interesting. Bonus he extra headshot and weak spot damage. Uh, that's only for me. I mean, it seems, seems like a good choice, but... Some enemies don't even have clear clear heads like the robots and or it's just hard to hit their heads. And this is keep in mind I'm only one guy in the team, one girl, and that's like so this is not super efficient. Like if even if I say like my my contribution is like one third of the damage, then we have to uh just divide this by three. So not super good. 
interactable highlight range. And just easier to interact with objects. I don't really get this as tier 2. I would I would like it as tier 1. If someone is having a problem with like seeing stuff, wouldn't they pick up collector at tier 1? But like at this point they're already pretty uh deep into the game. Like, at least like probably like 10 hours or so. Maybe maybe last if they rush it, but still. Vendor buying price. So with this, we could get get so much more money. I like this. I think this just uh, just multiplies what we're already going for. More money. This just seems pointless. Again, pointless. Uh, pointless. Uh, restore my health whenever I kill an enemy. It's just a very, very, very inefficient. Um... Heal. Very, very inefficient. Ideally, you would want to end the combat with full health. It drops the consumable weight. Okay. Carry capacity bonus from companions. So, with this, we would get, uh, assumingly, uh, at least 40, but most likely 80. Because it says companions. So, maybe double. And it increases, yeah, my dialogue skills when there are no companions in the party. So it seems like the best ones I want is the buying price and the carry capacity, maybe. We can deal without the carry capacity because I already went for a pack mule. So that's not super important. I might even go with like tier 1 uh, abilities, uh, perks here. But these are not super important either. Just like, like base armor, like okay, walk speed. I don't, I don't care much for the TTD. Uh, but I, one thing I want, and this probably is not as good as I think, is just, uh, just get more money. I just get more money. Like, we are kind of hovering a lot of money right now, so not like we need a lot of money. So, it could be pointless. Ooh! Extra for the companions. Range damage. And I definitely use them as range fighters. So this would make them deal more damage. 10% more damage. Uh, which is quite good. Armor rating. Now, what we need to consider here is that her armor rating... Is already 35. So now we have a choice of. I'm not exactly sure how armor rating works. I'm not exactly sure how this works. But this could be super effective or not very effective. Is it like a percentage? Or is it just like a fix? Like, you just take this much less damage. Uh, which would be awesome. Against some weapons, like any weapons that don't deal a lot of damage. Like, uh, trying to uh, use this 32 damage weapon against 35 armor. Uh, that's gonna be, like, super useless. Uh, melee damage, again, kind of same thing. 10% chance to extract mods in the field. I don't know. That's that's a little vague. It seems like a toss-up between armor rating and range damage. I think the argument can be made for both. Chance to reset ability cooldowns on ability use. Ah, uh, no. Companion ability damage. Actually, I prefer it just as a stun. This companion swaps weapons and reloads much faster. This is completely pointless. So, it's the choice is super clear. We're gonna go for armor and range damage. And I'm not sure what else we're gonna do here. Maybe we're just gonna go for other stuff. Uh, we can just go for armor so she doesn't die. Because 5 is still gonna be pretty relevant. 
So she's gonna go from uh, 35 to 40. Actually, she went down in armor. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, body armor rating. Oh, seems like the helmet is just... Uh... Oh, right! Right. So, these are... are different. So when you get hit in, uh, hit in the head, the the helmet defends you, and when you get hit in the body, the armor defends you. And this might be armor by damage type. I'm not sure how the armor works. Obviously, more is better. I think we gotta go do the same thing. Uh, so the medical inhaler heals for more. Which is handy. But again, we would like to not die. And her armor is actually a lot worse. And she does have a, a very brief but uh, clear history of dying more. So we gotta go for the armor. Yeah, but the armor rating went up. I just want them to not die. Inventory. And I should probably use this armor. Long guns one. And I'm not sure about the other stuff. Frankly, we just gotta go and uh, uh, trash a lot of stuff we got. We can also sell junk? No, no. Not here. Okay. And I'm also capable of stealing now. We go to this guy. That's 27 out of 2. Oh, that's his stuff? He's nothing? Tong Jiang? Temps are lowering across the station. Wow. Outside is getting a hell of a Have light you trip. given your auntie a hug today? Literally nothing. Maybe we can steal from the shopkeeps. That would be worth it. Really? I think I would get busted stealing from him. Can I just do the good odds? Okay. Does this works? June light key card. This is cool. Also, I suck at sneaking now. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. We don't have we don't have a, a penalty on sneaking with this armor. Adreno. Okay, I like I like stealing. As long as I don't get busted. <laughs> what what annoys me is that... Wait. How do we know? Is there a way to know that they see me? You see me? Don't tell me that you don't see me here. It j we just don't know if they see us. Which I guess is just really good. Speak with Lydia Hagen. I already kind of did that, didn't I? My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from being right. alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, really? Wow. Guess we'll be on our way. So... 
Wow. What's next? Speak to Lady Tegan. <coughs> What are you guys doing? Oh shit, I would get totally busted here. That was so... That let me out. Uh, I guess there's not much to steal here. 27 out of 2. Let's go. What's going on with you later? Yeah, I'm a little tired. Probably affecting yeah, my efficiency. When it comes to stealing. What's next? I don't know. There's just so much to do. We have a bunch of completed. Oh. Return to the unreliable and ask provider about Jin Lei. Uh, look at the security terminal and the groundbreaker. Groundbreaker Security Office. So we can't go to the Groundbreaker's uh, security office. That's kind of over here. Also, uh, things that I couldn't do before, and we should definitely do right now. That we came this way, and I couldn't open these doors, and I can't do it now. Uh, Lockpick five. I have no way to increase my lockpicking. I actually, ha I think I have a way. Let's see. My lockpicking is fifty-one. I'm thirsty. That's dropping it. Uh, drink that. I'll just drink water. Okay. I'll maybe eat a little bit. Uh, I can't tell the drugs from the... F apart from the foods. Okay. So now it costs me nothing to pick it. Perfect. You gotta teach me that. Nice. Let's just go this way. Did I kill him? Here we go, yeah! Heavy machine gun. We need that. Scratch. Scrat hide. Uh, unclear. 1,350 for scrats? Seems like quite a lot. I'm kind of having difficulty seeing here. Um, and we can't use a flashlight. We don't have one. Okay. Energy cell. There's a lot of heavy ammo. That this person obviously doesn't need. Oh my god, heavy machine gun. That's the one I bought. Yeah, it's, it's just completely identical. That's fine. This person who wants this, whatever, the storage room, obviously shares my love for heavy machine gun. Hey, how'd you get back there? Oh. Oh, we can steal from you. Let me do that. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, what about the cashier? Wow. I don't even feel bad. That's probably not the best way, but fine, let's be taking this way. Ah, uh, crouching around. That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing here, but we can climb up on the ladder. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. And kill like sure. half of them. Best part is when they pay us. 
We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. <laughs> kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Do a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's very handy. Oh. I see you, game. But I'm not going there right now. Not even using that pistol anymore. Anyone else? Wow. You sure told these bugs who's the boss. Vera says the lost hopes plumbing is actually is acting up again. Take a gander at the usual spot. While you're there, someone locked their key behind the door it's the lock one once you're ready for a challenge come back and we'll discuss the radiators for the hundredth time how many jumping challenges you want me to do game Better not die to fall damage. Okay, this is locked up. There? I can hear footsteps. Just leave me here. Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief? What the hell happened here? You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Don't tell Thanks me again, about friend. I don't want to know. I did you a favor. What are you going to do for me? You're going to shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? Is that how it is? I'm sorry. Uh, are you going to pay up or are you going to stand <laughs> here smelling like shit? Fine. Here's every bit I've got. That enough for you? Or do you want my shit-covered clothes as well? I'm sorry. Um... Keep your pants on, smart ass. I will. I will preserve my dignity. No one can take that away from me. I can take away your pants. But, yeah, I was a bit of a dick here. I, I didn't mean to come up as uh, that big a dick. But, we didn't have a choice. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Hmm. Tech shotgun. Fine. Okay. So just a uh, harmless looting. And there's one box we missed. And probably I should have just uh, checked it out when I saw it. Okay, how sneaky you are, game. Okay, the game doesn't want me to go there. <gasps> I don't want to fall off. There's fall damage in this game. I will die. Okay. Well, I guess we explored that. Hmm. Are we gonna... No, no, no. We're gonna go to the security office, right? I already got my lockpicker set ready. It's a lockpicker helmet. 
Alright, it helps me see better. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Crap. <laughs> you don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade company. Sounded dire. That's a good point. Let's see what you got. Uh, wow, that's... Still not worth using. No. Yeah. I'm gonna skip it. Wait. Why are we here? <laughs> oh, claim the bounty. That would be nice. Oh, we gotta go to the security chief. And, uh... Claim the bounty. And while the security chief uh, goes away... It's like, hey, I'm gonna get your bounty. I'm like, okay, okay. A hard fighter for a hard life. And while that's happening, we're just gonna bust in and take everything. Oh, what happens? Why? Why did I lose strength? Is it because of I'm tired? But I don't know why I lost it. Is it because I'm tired? I'm sleepy. Oh man. How much strength? Oh, I lost a lot of strength. Uh, let's do weight to value ratio. And this is just total garbage, the hunting rifle. Uh, we can just break it down. Break it down. Yeah, not good weight to value ratio, the grenade launcher, apparently. Just get rid of it. It's not super good. What about these things? Weight to value ratio. The heavy power armor is just garbage. Uh, that's not great either. Looks like it. Oh, we're good. We're good now. Okay, I can't get in here. Uh, can you just get my bounty? How do I get in here? Is there any, like, an obvious... A back end? Ooh, there is a back entrance. Um... What was that? What do you think you're doing? I'm... I was just leaving. Just don't make more paperwork for me, all right? Okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, don't worry about it. Need to hurry up. Not sure how we can fool these people. Steal a hoop? Let me just call this fucking girl. If she comes back, she will see us. <laughs> the door closed by itself. There's nothing suspicious about that. Left hands, Cap. Fuck. Slow day, huh? Yep, yeah, um. Very slow day. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we want to get access to the computer. Uh, just keep doing your thing. Where's the computer? Great work. And we don't have time. Wait. 
get some Inferno Sight. Weight to value ratio. Right. It actually has decent weight to value ratio. Let's get rid of the axe and the sawed off shotgun. And this is a 10 to 1 weight to value ratio, which is not great. But it's apparently not bad. <laughs> Watch out. You got something? I'm just checking your pants for contraband. No contraband here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're good. My computer doesn't even work, you idiot! That's, you can be better at pretending to work. Oh shit. <laughs> well, uh, sure, that works. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided... If you ain't killed McRed yet... I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Well, he's dead. Good news, I killed Captain McReed and I roughed him up before I did it. <laughs> I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Uh, okay. Well, that's it for now. And I got decent level of experience. What we should do... What? Grand big reputation increase. What we should do is just sell stuff, because I just have so much stuff that I don't use. Uh, I gotta make my personality uh, even better for this. Dialogue skill 7. Ooh, engineering plus 15, perception minus 1. So this is uh, like the, the bomb engineering glass. Tech skills. Okay, so this is my dialogue. Uh, I actually have penalties. Get cooler. Let's see what, what we can do. 53% discount on everything? Whoa! And what about selling? It do doesn't say uh, that I get any any advantages here. Uh, let's do weight value. So... So sell all junk. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep a heavy machine gun. Assault rifle is kind of pointless. Oh, it looks like the game bugged a little bit. Uh, plasma rifles. Security blades. Attack shotgun. I already got one. One other one. I don't care about the infernal sights. Plasma cutter. Doesn't matter. Ooh, the vermin handgun that uses heavy bullets. That's not actually good. But it's pretty high level. It's just not good. Because I already got a weapon that uh, deals more damage. No, actually it doesn't deal more damage. But it has a little higher DPS. But... It's good to see that pistols actually remain very viable. Super viable. Good to see you again. And it's very efficient. Actually, I can make the argument for using it. I might, might, might even keep it. Kind of depends on its weight. Weight of two, which doesn't really matter. Oh, I can sell that. Auto mag pistol, Montag, 
I don't, I don't plan on using this at all. Can I sell it? I just make some money. Uh, engineering 15, tech skills 5. Maybe. Block 5, that's completely useless. Tech skills 5, uh, this is not as good. Yeah, we want that. Don't care about that. Sneak 5, I'm not gonna put that on just to sneak. Tech skills 5. Uh, pff, identical. And tech skills, like all the skills. More tech skills. This is higher value. Oh, doesn't matter much. So this is my defensive helmet. This is my lockpick helmet. Standard troop armor. Interesting. So, is that standard troop armor any good? No, we use elite troop armor here. And we use retrofitted heavy armor here. So standard troop armor actually seems to be the worst, but it's possibly actually better. Oh, I, I cannot uh, strip her. Uh, but I don't know. Hack 7. Yeah, she can use that. We don't we don't have to care about the standard troop armor. This is fine. I just want to sell no, stuff. Shoot. So so we can have some space. That's maybe I don't know about the heavy machine gun because I can use that with another companion. And I might want to just uh bring it with me. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have an extra. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Uh, yeah, tech skills 5, long guns. And I might just... Oh, dialogue skills 5. Uh, we should sell this. This is no good. And we might just sell the armor as well. This is the armor I used. And so much crap here. This is what taking up so much space. And I'm just not super into it. I also got a lot of uh, mods that I'm not using. What I should do is just go back to the ship, find storage that I most likely have, and just put these in. And most likely, that's it. I will never use it. <laughs> I'll just store it. Uh, armor mods. That doesn't seem that good. When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable and increases your generation for a short time. This effect is a cooldown. This is amazing! This saves companions! I want this shit. Do you sell uh, this mod? No, no, no. Uh, she sells uh, weapon mods. Melee weapon durability. We're not using that. I think is uh, the... Companions don't really care about that. Their durability is always maximum. Melee weapon attack speed. We're not using melee weapon. Range weapon spread. Meh. What are we doing here? Oh, defense skills, melee weapon skills. We're not using that. Range weapon skills, maybe. Uh, melee weapon. Oh, we can sell to you. Plasma damage. Converter, critical damage. Okay, so this is fine. This doesn't take up any uh, space, which is amazing. But now, this is the only part that's just a total mess. I don't know what to do with this. Personality attributes, but lowers dexterity, perception, charm. Okay. I guess this is booze. Zero G brew. What if I drink one of that? Does it count as water? Or liquid? I, I think my my liquid went down. It's going down. 
So if I drink this. Oh, my charm went up. <laughs> wow. I can stack it. Actually, maybe not, not possible to stack it. My charm is uh, free by default. Uh, okay. No, it doesn't stack. It, it, only one, because my dexterity is only minus one. What is this? This is just totally pointless, like stimulation. But I probably should uh, list it by weight. And when it comes to that... Oh, increases the base health by 25%. Okay. But does it increase the base health of everybody by 25%? Base health increases for everybody. Uh, that's just food, food, food. Uh, base health increases with food, food, food. Okay, I, I guess we can use that. Uh, maybe the base health increase is gonna be useful for a, for a fight. Who knows? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Whatever. I might just keep it if we can get away with it. And it's 68, so maybe. Also, this shrink ray. I'm not using it at all. <laughs> I have so many bullets. Anyhow, uh, so uh, next step. Yeah, either we purchase a nav key. Find Captain Iron and Scylla. Yeah, but but we have to go to Scylla. Salvager in the sky, speak with Lydia Hagen. Yeah, we need access to Stellar Bay. Okay, so we gotta go to the ship. Uh, have a chat with the companions. Tell the vicar that uh, we... Had a chat uh, with the security chief, and uh, she gave us everything. How uh, nice of her! And uh, yeah, we, we can't steal here anymore. I was, I was going for a like a very quick steal run. Oh yeah, actually this guy. Apparently we can buy good medicine. Uh, hello, uh, June Lei called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. That would be nice. Uh, Dr. Fenhill, I hope you're not here to harass any of our patients. What the hell? Harassing? Come on, I was trying to help Jesse. You have a creative definition of helping. Then it's lucky for us both that I've found gainful employment with someone who appreciates my ingenuity. Good luck with this one, Captain. <laughs> yeah. Now, is there something I can help you with? Let me see what you got. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Okay. Oh, you sell something good too? Engineering 5 helmets, but it's only engineering. Met 5. Adrena time! So, Adrena time increases movement speed, attack speed, uh, and just crashes all abilities. I don't care about Adrena time. Oh, increases leadership skills, but this is completely pointless because leadership skills are something you want in combat, and in combat you don't want a, a free armor garbage. So this is tech skills, but I already got something for that, so it's no good. Adrena is super cheap. So maybe buy this. I'm taking your Adreno. And that's it. I got 39 Andrinos. So, that's good enough. How much booze I need? I don't need booze. I should just sell it. Oh, what I should do is just mark alcohol as junk. I'm sure Parvati would love that. Oh. I 
just want to go to my ship. I, I guess I could have fast traveled here. But, come on. There's no need. It's so damn close. Hey, you got a second? I do? What's up with the bags, Felix? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Fancy running into me again? Says the guy who's waiting for me in front of my ship with bags. Uh, you're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Yeah, but you also could be like a stealer and uh, a thief and whatever. You can just kill us in our sleep. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. He's being a little odd about it. Okay, Felix, consider this your interview. Okay, why should I hire you? You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, my God. I put together a little speech oh just shit. in case you ask. Let's go. I already hey like there. it. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Okay. Go on. I'm enjoying this. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. <laughs> My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. <laughs> that motto is a, it's a work in progress. I see. But I do appreciate it. Uh, you telling me about the motto. Uh, very, very good. <laughs> I really appreciate it. He, he, oh my god, he changed his voice. That's amazing. Something I would do. <clears throat> Seems like uh, Felix, uh, Parvati, and the new girl. <laughs> I'm still learning the name of. Uh, kind of have parts of my personality. I'm not sure about Vico. Uh, I mean, the v uh, v Vicar Max. I don't know. I heard enough. You're hired. No, no, no. I, I want to hear, hear more. Come on. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. Oh, wow. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, Thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, we need you. I've heard enough. You're hired. Dragging off body shootouts? The hell kind of ship do you think I'm running? <laughs> the fun kind? <laughs> I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? I'm gonna answer. Welcome aboard. I don't know. I just want to keep this going. Look, we're just responsible, law-abiding crew of adults. Speak for yourself, Captain. And you know what? Never mind. Welcome aboard, Felix. Wow. <laughs> You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Like two minutes? Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Okay. Well, see you in the ship, Felix. What? Uh, not like you... Well, you're coming in with us, right? I'll see you back on the ship, Parvati. No, no, no. See you back on the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. You're already this is gonna be here great. with bags. Well, this'll be interesting, huh? Okay. Felix cannot join your party. Oh, okay, let's just, let's just go on the bloody ship. Maybe that's what we should do. Just like, chill out. Chill out a little bit on the ship. And then like, just decide where we're gonna hang out. I got a lot of booze. I got a lot of booze. And it's just no good. And it's just no good for anything. But I guess it would be a little bit uh, good to just, you know, just to lighten the mood on the unre unreliable. 
So I'm just gonna leave my booze around everywhere. Just if you have a fridge, that would be the best. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave cereal. I love that. Uh, can I pick this free? Maybe I can. If I'm well rested. Actually, no. Because I don't have any... VZT. I don't have the the bonus that I usually have. Oh, actually, we can. Light assault rifle. Use heavy bullets. What are we taking get? But I didn't have this. Is this a new weapon? Seems like it. But it uses heavy bullets and only deals 18 damage. That's pretty efficient because. We gotta consider ammo efficiency, uh, both the type of ammo it uses and how much damage it deals with that ammo. And sometimes you don't even know that uh, uh, sometimes it uses more ammo for per shot. For example, when I was using the the grenade launcher, um, I, I kind of suspected they will use more ammo. I'm not even sure how much more ammo it used, but it was it was it was really using a shit ton of ammo. <clears throat> Felix and Vicar Max. We have some big decisions here. Oh, we know we know about their abilities. Quick draw. Ellie quickly draws her pistol and fires off a series of precision shots at the target. I have to say, so far from what I've seen, a Parvati is the best. Trick shot. Felix. Drop kick. Oh, this might be another stun move, which I very much like. Anyway, guys, uh, I guess this is a good time to take a break. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.